Hi Aries, welcome back. Now I will be throwing out a few more cards from my Egyptian deck here in relation to your partnerships, friendships, relationships, marriages, etc. to decipher what's happening for you. Okay, I feel like I want to take this one out. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles. Now the Ten of Pentacles is all about income, legacy, family, money, activity, finances. There's some sort of spending of finances that's happening this month in relationships, partnerships, perhaps with family. As I said, there could be a family gathering, a family event, and there's money that's being spent on a celebration of some kind, money that's being spent to fly overseas. We did see that there's travel cards in here, so we can speak of a journey, a physical journey elsewhere. Um, also, incomes and legacies to do with family, so maybe there's a family business that you might be passed down to you. Um, if it's in a relationship with purchasing of a family home, the Ten of Pentacles rule assets, rule money, rule finances, or it's um, maybe you're opening up a, a trust fund uh, or a long-term deposit for a child uh, or maybe for a family. It's a long-term investment though, either a term deposit, stocks, it's to benefit your long-term future uh, with couples as well. Pentacles can also represent people because it's anything in the physical sense. You might have a lot of people around you. There could be, as I said, there's, there could be a certain sadness. It's because you either will see this person, will hear from a person who will evoke these feelings of nostalgia, regret, um, perhaps for some of you. Definitely. The Ten of Pentacles, um, you know, is a lot of activity as well. A lot of busyness, events, people, places maybe. Uh, for some of you, it's a, um, if it's not you directly, then it's a partner that you may have if they're a fire sign water sign or even an earth sign that um, is either bringing home a larger paycheck than usual or maybe they'll be they'll be getting a new job and they'll they'll be starting a new venture and it's one that they're going to keep for the long term um, I feel but it's things in the tangible it's things that you'll experience in your earthly realm um, with the Ten of Pentacles in your relationships. For some, you might be spending money and be going on a holiday to see someone. Or maybe someone's lending you money or you'll be lending them money even in relationships. I like it though. It's a card of completion, yet it's, it's a card of new beginnings. And you know, you do have the Ten of Pentacles here. You have the 10 here and it's new beginnings. It comes down to the one. So being establishing firm footing, establishing accounts, connections, people, um, establishing relationships with people as well. Or maybe there's, as I said, there could also be a second chance. Someone that has come, come up for you is coming up again. Maybe fate is placing them in front of you, Aries, and you're perhaps wanting to take them up on an offer or, or to be long-term in a relationship with them. For others that are in marriages, you might be borrowing money from in-laws, uh, siblings, parents, family as well with the Ten of Pentacles. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that's coming in as well for um, in terms of romance for some of you Aries out there. Okay, you've had two more cards, the Hierophant and the Eight of Wands. Okay, let's look at the Eight of Wands first because it's on top here. The Eight of Wands is all about movement, potential, things aligning, the arrows of love. So things are coming into being. Remember, we spoke about this with the Temperance card here. This is correspondence, action, and movement that's taking place in relationships. Movement and decisions that will affect the long term. That's why I think there's a lot of inner reflection that's happening with your relationships, Aries, is because we see it with the three of wands. And it's almost like you're thinking, what if, what could have been? 
if, if I had done this or if I hadn't done this or if I said this or if I hadn't said this. So things, you're starting to piece together the bigger picture here, Aries, with the Eight of Wands. As I said, there's a potential rebirth of a relationship. Or you're receiving messages from the universe, maybe from your friends, from people, just all, all signs are pointing to a certain person in your relationships. Or if you're coupled up, this is, this is things moving forward. This is passion. It's lust. It's adventure. Maybe you're taking a trip together. Maybe you're meeting someone's in-laws for the first, your in-laws for the first time. Or potentially, uh, your potential future in-laws with the Eight of Wands. Taking steps in the right direction. Some of you could be fearful about this. this there's, there's sadness, but Why? Is there something you're regretting from the past? Do you not see these people in your long-term future? This, this partner? This person maybe? <clears throat> For some of you, I feel like if you're interested in someone, it's almost like you might miss the boat because there's someone else around them that is interested in them and I have a feeling you'll be you'll be sad because you'll see this and then there'll be a sense of urgency or time pressure on you as indicated by the knight of wands to pursue this person to chase this person it's things coming into action this is flirtatious messages as well This could be breakthroughs, crossing, uh, crossing thresholds, sorry, with a significant other. For those that are coupled up, you're taking firm action. For others, you might be in a marriage where it's not working. Maybe there's excessive drinking. Maybe there's lack of commitment. Maybe you feel like your spouse is never home, never to watch the family grow, what, there to watch the kids grow, there for bonding time and you'll leave. It's, it's almost like you might have enough here because you do have the Hierophant. The Hierophant can be seen as a priest, someone of importance. In the Rider weight deck, we see a priest, what looks like a Catholic priest, it could signify marriage. For some, there's marriage that's coming on board um, or a person who's marriage potential. The, cha the, the likelihood and potentialness for a lovely, committed relationship. But yet you feel either fearful. For some, you feel great about it. Others, you feel fearful. It's either you feel you rushed into it. This isn't the person you were supposed to end up with. You didn't think you were supposed to end up this way, maybe, with the Hierophant. It could be a long distance relationship for others because the Hierophant is sort of someone that, as you can see, um, that's glorified, someone that's, I guess, worshipped in a sense or revered, very well respected. So it might be that you have a lot of respect for someone um, to make a pass at them or you have a lot of respect or likeness or desire for someone who is overseas. Maybe it's a long term relationship, but you see that there's commitment and I would advise you if you see this person, pursue them. If you see them in your future and you want them a part of your life, pursue them. For others, it's getting engaged, getting married. There's a, it's either an important function, as I said, there could be a family function on. It could even be someone else's wedding that's on if it's not your own. A brother-in-law, a dear friend. There's Hierophant here with family. So it could be someone's announcing a wedding, an engagement, or even a pregnancy. And maybe this is what sparks these sort of feelings, you know, these residual feelings within you. The Hierophant is an important decision maker though, so for some it's um, big plans, big plans in a relationship. Maybe this Hierophant is coming up in the form of a financial institution, maybe you're purchasing a home, maybe you're planning a trip, either way you will be meeting with someone who is um, an expert in what they do, they're very well respected in what they do, you will be meeting with this person. And you've attracted them on some level here with the temperance card. Maybe it's growth of finances. Maybe you want to invest into a business with your loved one, but you've attracted this person, this expert.
Let's lay out some more cards for your career and business. Aries. Two of Pentacles. Okay, it's a bit of a juggling act, a bit of balancing. Either two income streams, two different things, a relationship and work. Um, I think you will manage it. It could be somewhat overwhelming, but I think for the most part you will manage it. Don't forget you have resources behind you, the Two of Cups. You have support. This is... Um, Balancing finances, perhaps, though, or balancing assets, maybe. Juggling. There's a busyness. I think there'll be a busyness at work um, or in the career, on the career aspect. Juggling multiple things, multiple duties, multiple roles with the three of ones. Or maybe you're starting a side business. You're doing something autonomous. There is a lot of autonomous figures here. That you're starting on the side as a second income there could probably be a second income stream it could even be through working for the family somehow uh doing someone's invoices maybe you have a brother-in-law who's has a construction business maybe you'll be doing their invoicing their accounts receivable accounts payable maybe you'll be receptioning for them You'll be helping out in either a family-run business or a business where it feels like a family feel. But I think it's important you pay attention to both equally and not one more so than the other. So even if it is a side business, you still need that attention and dedication to your current role, your current job. Uh, because as we can see here, if, if he falls off, you know, if, if he falls off this one, that one will go. If he doesn't balance this one properly, this one could slip underneath or this one could topple over. So it's almost like it's a chain reaction. One thing will affect the other here. And it's about juggling finances. So I think there could be some talk of finances, salary, uh, raises coming up potentially. Because it's like maybe you're making, trying to make ends meet because you're trying to get the two to balance equally um, and to, to work um, harmoniously together with the two of pentacles. There could be even up to three income streams for you. Or there could be a collaboration with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo that's coming in here that will want your assistance in something. Some part of the business or company or department. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is proceed with caution, ambiguity, reading into something, something not being all that it seems with the Nine of Pentacles. You have the Eye of Horus, so you need to protect yourself here. Someone could be dishonest with you in the work, um, in the work front, and I don't think you'll tolerate it for the most part. It could be over finances, over the, uh, it could be people, dishonest people. Again, pl uh, Pentacles can be anything in the physical. There's dishonesty coming about here, and maybe this is why you'll feel sad. Maybe there's a betrayal coming in on the workplace, coming in around you, competition. It could be that it doesn't sit well with your work ethic. It doesn't resonate with how you do things, Aries, and you'll, you'll want to walk away. And I potentially see you doing that to finding something. But if you do, I think you'll find a role that is more long-term, that is more promising, has more growth and long-term potential and prospect for you to stay there. Because we do have the Eight of Cups. Maybe you'll be called out to investigate something that seems a bit odd or a bit um, unusual in terms of sales performances, in terms of stock, maybe there's the quantities wrong. There's something that you will be called upon to investigate. Uh, you may be disappointed with what you find, Aries. There could be dishonesty, there could be theft even.
but it's about balancing everything out. The temperance card is about this harmonious balance and attracting the right things at the right time. And I think opportunity is coming. Nine of Pentacles. It could be that you don't know how to you don't know what to make of something that happens. You haven't wrapped your head around it yet. You're still reflecting, you're still registering the information, Aries, and maybe this is what causes this sort of nine of pentacles. I have a feeling it's more to do with a person or with finances though. It could be a payroll glitch even. Seven of Wands. <clears throat> Seven of Wands is dependent, dependence, allegiance, and it's asking for help. Someone is going to ask you for help. I think it's you though, Aries. I think you'll be seeking help, either from a recruiter to change jobs, either for someone to help you with your finances, to help juggle and balance income streams, finances. I see you seeking assistance with something here, and you might have to drive out further, train it further, um, contact someone who is outside of where you live uh, because of their expertise and there is a I like the temperance card remember we saw what looks like the merging of two cups the water flowing so I think it's someone that's on the same wavelength on the same frequency as you and can offer you the assistance you are looking for it's about needing a support network here maybe it's your family that's going to be the support network If you have your own business, this could be the time where you'll be hiring new employers, uh, employees, sorry, and you'll be assessing their salaries, pay, pay rates, because you need support, you need that allegiance to you, you need that dependence to be able to depend on someone. It could be an earth sign coming in. Um, Make sure you look up what the government, what your rates are through the government and what by law, what you should be paying people because as I said, there could be something that's not all what they seem. It could be that you interview a person for a job or a role and they may seem really skilled and experienced and dedicated and articulate and very fitting and perfect for the role. But in hindsight or once you work with them, you might see that they're the opposite of that and they're actually not what they um, presented themselves to be. They could talk the talk, but they couldn't walk the walk. Let's have a look at uh, a couple more cards. Okay, general, you have the judgment card. Contracts, judgments, feeling judged. Feeling like you made a bad judgment call, feeling like you made a good judgment call, feeling like you made a judgment call that wasn't right for you at the time and now maybe you're regretting this. Someone make, placing judgment on you because of your past decisions. A contract that's coming through here with finances. It is a major one though because this is the jackal-headed Anubis here and he delivers us our final judgment in the Hall of Truths. So it's, it's a question of honesty, integrity accountability that's coming up here whether this is at work or in relationships a major judgment call is needed here Aries um, whether this is choosing a lifelong partner whether this is making a career change whether it is letting that someone go firing someone it could be that you might have to do this you might have to brave, be bold be brave and let go whatever isn't working for you and maybe you won't get much support from this decision but maybe in hindsight in the long run it was actually the best thing for you to do So there could there could be a lot of a lot of heavy weight on your shoulders this month, Aries. But you you are resilient. You are fire. You are able to overcome this. 
but it could be just that there's a lot of things that happen around you this month that you think, wow, everything's happening, all these memories are piling up, a lot of things are occurring and it's making me ch change my mind or it's making me reflect or think differently about the decisions I've made previously. Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is the teeth of Sobek. It's inner crises, it's fault, it's anxiety, censorship. So it is, I feel this energy, as I said, it just reiterates what I've been saying, Aries. Um, for some of you, not for all, but for some of you, it is a period of reflection. It is a period of preempting, being anxious. Um, maybe there's sudden change around you when you're preempting too much. Maybe it's the, the loss of a relationship that, that has you really hung up about this person still and you just can't seem to let it go. It's Maybe you're having vivid dreams. Because of your anxiousness, this can do this to us. We have all these dreams and thoughts. It's feeling at fault or feeling like you let something, you let something pass you by. You almost let it slip through your fingers, maybe. But it's censorship. It's closing yourself off to something because you don't want to feel that way or you don't want to conjure up those feelings. But sometimes this reflection and, and dealing with our grief or our past choices is what will help you overcome it, Aries. Or it could just be anxiousness, you know, meeting up with a family, getting married, getting engaged. It could um, address a lot of things here, but that's just a general overview. So I hope it's been um, insightful for you, Aries.